Callie with Adventure Rig. We're doing some resort skiing today at Brighton in Utah. Today I'm wearing the Cliff Shell Bib made by Raj. I have these paired with the Zoe jacket. Be sure to check out that review as well. Underneath the bib, you can see that I have this awesome insulating layer on. This is the Phoenix layering system, also made by Araj. Highly suggest checking out that review. This has been one of my key pieces of the season. Getting back to the bibs, there are a lot of things I really like about these bibs. They are the ultimate bomber backcountry bib. Say that five times fast. Not only are they gonna keep you dry in even the wettest of conditions, they're also gonna let you ventilate air when you're heading up. I guess since that's my favorite part about these bibs, we'll go ahead and dive into that first. On the side, you see I have this zip. This starts pretty much down at the top of my knee, and it's a two-way zip that works all the way up the side like this. When you're skinning in the backcountry and you can get this much airflow, it's gonna cool you down really fast, and I really like that. That's on both legs. Another thing to note with this huge zipper going up both sides of your legs, it makes going to the bathroom so easy. I've tried a lot of different bibs in the last few years, and this bib is by far the easiest one to use the bathroom in. You know how important that is. Because this flap goes all the way down to such an extent, it's really easy to use the bathroom. It's not a pain in the ass to pee multiple times throughout the day. Another thing I've noticed with this design is that in some other bibs that have the drop seat, it's really hard to get your long underwear back up after you pee. With these, it's really easy to get your long underwear back up zip back up and go about your day skiing. As far as fit goes, it's kind of a double-edged sword for me on these bibs. For the leg portion, I absolutely love the fit. They're tight fitting, there's not a lot of extra material, and they're the perfect length. They're even great for ice climbing because they're so much slimmer than your typical waterproof pants. I'm 5'10", 155 pounds, and wearing the size large. However, when we move above the waist, that's where I have a huge gripe with the fit. You can see that it's just kind of boxy. It almost looks like you're wearing a potato sack up here. I'm not exactly sure why Araj didn't put some Velcro or something to adjust this part up here. Tyson has bibs that are very similar from Araj, yet they're men's, and they have a lot of adjustability up here and they fit him really well. So that's one thing that I would definitely change about these is give some adjustability up here. If I turn around, you can see that there is this mesh right here, but it doesn't really do a whole lot. It just kind of sits there and flaps. So again, if they could just figure out this top portion, the fit would be spot on. With the suspenders, they don't detach at all, but I found that even wearing a backpack in the backcountry, they don't bother me or get in the way of anything. Moving down the pant leg, you can see I have this reinforced material here at the cuff. I have yet to rip mine, though I do know Tyson has that same material and he's already ripped his, so I can't speak to the longevity of that though it is nice to have the reinforcement. You also have an elastic gaiter here that stays over nicely on your boots and a little snap to keep it down in place. As well as a zipper, there's also an extra snap on the outer of the cuff. So again, you can really dial in the fit and adjustment of the cuffs for any activity you're gonna be doing. You can see that there's a little bit of articulation in the knees. It's great because I have a ton of mobility. These move with me, not against me. And they're nice and stretchy, so I just don't feel restricted at all yet I know they're gonna protect me from the elements. I can speak to the durability of these pants. We recently did a backcountry hut trip and it was what seemed like three days of full on tree skiing. And that is the skin track going right next to trees. I was brushing up against trees on the way up and on the way down. And there's no signs of that whatsoever on the bibs. Moving on to the pockets, you can see you have two hand pockets here. I don't love these pockets for a couple different reasons. They just feel tight and small, and so anytime I put something larger in there, I can really feel it. Feels bulky to me. Same with this upper pocket. It's just kind of small to me. Anytime I put something in there, it feels bulky. I can feel it, and it's uncomfortable. If there were two things I was going to change about the bibs, it would be pocket design and this design up here around the waist. I just like to have something that I could cinch down to make it fit a little bit better. But overall, highly durable material, very waterproof, weatherproof shell with awesome ventilation on both sides of your legs for when you're going up the skin track. Again, these are the Cliff Shell Bib made by Araj. Also be sure to check out the Zoe Jacket review and some other gear that we've been testing out from Araj this season. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. We'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are, or what we're up to, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Adventure Rig. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Callie with Adventure Rig.